Here are five things healthcare professionals should know about hypertension. First, for patients who have a blood pressure above 160 over 100, consider starting a drug. A drug should be started at 140 over 90 for patients who have a higher risk of a heart attack or stroke. Chlorthaladone is often used first because it leads to better outcomes. Other first-line drugs include ACE inhibitors, ARBs, and long-acting calcium channel blockers. Second, when patients have other medical conditions, specific antihypertensives may be preferred. For example, when a patient has heart failure or already had a heart attack, choose an ACE inhibitor or beta blocker. Third, the Canadian Hypertension Guidelines suggest most patients who are taking an antihypertensive should aim for blood pressure less than 140 over 90. Patients who have diabetes should aim for less than 130 over 80. And patients with specific risk factors for heart attack and stroke may choose a more intensive systolic goal of less than 120. The patient's overall health and preferences should be considered when choosing a blood pressure goal. Fourth. For patients consistently above target, you can add a drug with a complementary mechanism of action. For example, if the first drug is chlorthalidone, the second drug should usually be an ACE inhibitor or ARB rather than a calcium channel blocker. Finally, healthcare professionals can help patients optimize blood pressure by recommending home blood pressure monitoring. For accurate results, patients should avoid caffeine and smoking for 30 minutes, rest quietly for 5 minutes, sit with their back supported, legs uncrossed and arm at heart level, and avoid talking during the measurement.